Hello, hi, and welcome to this video to the handful of you that are watching. Um, so just to start off, um, I know I don't have many people following this channel, um, but I continue to do it for a number of reasons. Um, firstly, it kind of inspires me to read. So it, it, it kind of gives me that motivation to keep picking up books to, you know, finish a book in a few days and read the next one and read the next one. Secondly, it's really helping with my sort of skills for uni, sort of analytical, critical thinking skills. You know, I'm not just reading these books. I'm actually thinking a bit deeper about their meaning, about the characters, about the use of characters um, and about plots, subplots and stuff like that. So I find it quite useful in that and it's helping me hone my skills, if you like. And also it's helping like doing these videos is helping my sort of presentation skills, if you like. You know, I'm a massive introvert. I'm not good at public speaking, but doing this is actually helping me to kind of be a bit more confident. So they're the main reasons I kind of carry on with it. Um, you know, I don't mind if I get 10 people watch a video, 20 people watch a video, 100 people, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it'd be nice in the future to maybe get a few more people and meet some like minded people. Uh, and that's kind of maybe the point of this video as well, to maybe introduce myself a bit more, give you a bit more information about who I am, what I do and why I'm doing booktube. And yeah, I hope it's insightful. I'm also going to do a little tour of the bookshelves that I have. I do need to rearrange and get another bookshelf, um, but you'll see why. Um, but anyway, so this is me doing the new to booktube tag. So recently in the last few months on booktube, I've been seeing a lot of people use tags and I was like, I didn't quite understand it, just didn't really kind of get it, if you if you know what I mean. Um, I wasn't sure if people were just making up as they go along or if these were sort of already established things. And it seems to be a bit of the both. Um, so there are established tags out there which people can do a video on. And also it looks like some people can make up their own ones to get other people to go along with as well. Um, but anyway, I found this online and this is the new to booktube tag. And this was, it says, created by Trina at Between Chapters. And it's just a number of questions um, that I'm going to answer to hopefully give you a bit more information about who I am and what I do. But first of all, what's not a question, um, you probably know my name's Dan. I study with the Open University doing English literature. I may do creative writing. Who knows? Um, but by day, I am a tube driver, or by night, I should say, I mainly do the evening shifts. Um, so that's what I do during my normal working life. But obviously, I love reading. I love books. I also love writing, but I'm not so good at it yet. Anyway, let's crack on with the tag. So the first question is, where are you joining us from? I'm guessing that means location wise. Um, if you can guess, I'm on from the UK. Uh, I'm based in Essex. Um, I don't think I have much of an Essex twang, but sometimes when I go off on one, I can come out with shut up and stuff like that, but I try not to when I'm doing a video. So the next question, how old are you? Oh, I should ask someone their age. Um, so I am 38. I will be 39 in a few months time. And yes, 40 is on the horizon and yeah, it's going very quick. Life goes so quick. I, I know adults tell you that when you're a kid and you're like, no, nah, school feels like it goes on forever quick. Next question, number three, why did you join booktube? So I had a YouTube channel for a few years and I mainly started it to kind of do videos on my experience with the Open University when I did law and then I carried that on when I started my Arts and Humanities module um, but really the whole booktube thing started so for my next module i was meant to start last year but i've taken a break um jane eyre is one of the books that you have to read for the module so i thought i was getting it in before the module started um in sort of august september time and i just fell in love with, with jane eyre and because of that i then looked online on youtube for other videos or recommendations on Victorian literature because I was like I really love this book I'd like to read more like it and that's when I got introduced to the world of booktube and I came across a number of channels that I really enjoyed and still do enjoy um, and that sparked me to want to share my own thoughts because I don't know about you but for me 
when I find something I enjoy, so books, also Eurovision, um, but when you search online, I, I love watching other people's views uh, out their videos on, you know, what they think about Eurovision, books, whatever. So I thought I'd add my own bit on there so other people could watch and hopefully enjoy as well. So that's the main reason I started doing books is because I was looking for recommendations myself on Victorian literature. Saw there was loads of people out there. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd add my own two cents in there and hopefully some people enjoy watching. Question number four, what is the meaning behind your channel name? Channel name is Dan Union Books and I think that's self-explanatory. My name's Dan. I make videos about my uni experience when I'm at uni and also books. So um, yeah, it's a bit simple, I know. Who knows down the line, maybe I'll change it when I progress or change or evolve who knows but at the moment that's what it is and that's what it stands for question number five what types of books do you want to talk about on booktube so i think it's pretty obvious by now the majority of my videos have been on victorian literature or classics um that could be pre-victorian or post-victorian you know i really enjoyed dh lawrence and i'm looking forward to reading some more of his works uh, obviously this month I've been quite into historical fiction as well so I will be doing more historical fiction that I've really enjoyed what I've read so far and who knows maybe going forward some fantasy fiction as well um, but yeah at the moment I'm kind of set Victorian literature and historical fiction I'm quite enjoying so that'll probably be where I concentrate my main efforts at the moment. Question number six who are some of your favourite authors? I find this a little bit difficult to answer because if you've seen my videos you'll know I've really only read one maybe two novels from each author at the moment obviously I've got loads of books on my shelf and I want to read more from particular authors but I find it hard to name specific authors uh, I mean I could I mean the Brontes especially Charlotte I like Anne as well well I like Tennant um, Dickens from what I've read so far I, I'm really enjoying um, and then, yeah, just even some of the books I've read this month, I've loved Tom Crew, uh, Katie Lumsden, and also Laura Purcell. You know, too many to mention, but, you know, they're, they're the sort of authors I'm enjoying reading at the moment. Question number seven, what is the last book that you read? Uh, if you saw my video, you'll notice this, Tom Crew, The New Life. Highly recommend. Great piece of historical fiction um, centred around the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, in the Victorian era and yeah absolutely loved it you'll know if you saw the video I was like crying like a baby not in the video but after I read it um, so question number eight what book are you currently reading and that would be Kali by Benjamin Myers I'm nearly done I finished the first three books um, I'm on the last book it's separated into books um, I'm glad I stuck with it I'm highly enjoying it now the first book I was kind of it's a bit jarring, but I am really enjoying it now, so I'm glad I stuck with it. Question nine, what do you use for bookmarks? I use bookmarks. <laughs> so I used to be a page turner um, or folder, um, which when I didn't necessarily mind or care about books as much, um, yeah, that's what I did. But now I'm kind of really into books and I'm like, I don't want to fold the pages, even though by the time I've read them and they've been in my bag for days or whatever, they're looking a bit sort of ruffled anyway. Um, but when I went to Iceland last year, I picked up a number of these lush bookmarks, which I use. Um, so yeah, they're the little different ones that I've got. Um, yeah, so that way I'm not folding pages. And they're quite pretty, to be honest, especially that one. I'm like, oh, that's my favourite. But yeah, I've got those three that I use for bookmarks. Question number 10, show us your current TBR pile. There's far too many to mention. There's at least 20 books there. But I've picked out my selection for what I'm hoping to do in the next month or so anyway. So when I finish Cuddy, I've already decided I'm going to read Wayward by Amelia Hart. Um, sounds really interesting. Um, once again, looks like it's got um, or revolves around witches. So that's going to be up my street. And then we have Wilkie Collins. Now, I've said I wanted to do another Wilkie Collins and I'm going to sort of read this in memory of Jennifer Brooks, who was a YouTuber, um, who was one of the first people that I followed. Um, 
and yeah, I literally found out last month that she'd sadly passed away, um, which I thought was really sad. And, you know, it was only a couple of months ago I was looking on YouTube because I hadn't seen a video of hers for a while. Um, and yeah, I, I didn't, I completely missed the memory video that was posted. Um, but yeah, hers and Katie Lumsden's channels were the first two that I followed and I really enjoyed their takes on Victorian literature. I loved Jennifer's sort of <laughs> southern drawl uh, when talking especially about Wilkie, Wilkie Collins who seemed to be one of her favourite authors. Um, so I'm going to read her second favourite book because I'm still saving the woman in white and that's Armadale. Um, it's a bit of a read, I think that might take me a little while. Then I want to start in the Barsetshire Chronicles by Anthony Trollope, so I'm going to read The Warden first. Get that out of the way, it's a fairly smallish book, so hopefully that won't take too long. Then I want to do another Bronte, I've decided I'm going to try and keep Villette, so I'm going to read Shirley instead, and um, see what that like. And then I'm going to do another piece of historical fiction and another Purcell, Laura Purcell. The Whispering Muse. I really enjoyed The Silent Companions, um, so I'm hoping I'm going to enjoy that. And their hopefuls for the next month at least. I may do some more. I may not get through them all, but I'll get through them eventually. Question 11. Which do you prefer, hardcover or paperback, ebooks or physical books? Owning books or borrowing them? That's a lot there. So I prefer paperbacks mainly because I read on the go a lot, especially at work. Anytime I get five, ten minutes, I pop my book out of my bag on my break before I start work. And then anywhere where I'm going out for a day or whatever. So I like to have the paperbacks. They're just easier to carry around. I like having physical copies. I don't know why. I just probably because I'm nearly 40. And I like owning them because I like looking at them and getting a chance to go back over them whenever. I, some people might say it's a waste like because there's some on there that I might not touch for ages. And some that I've read that I might not touch for years to come, um, but I don't know, they're mine, they're my babies. So, yeah, no, that's it really. Uh, question 12. What series or books, bleh, what book or series uh, got you into reading? So I think I can approach that with two answers. So um, you'll see in my bookshelf tour uh, on my books downstairs, I've got the Dexter series. So back in my 20s, that what really got me into reading then. Um, from then I, I followed on with the uh, Fallen book series and the Anthony Horowitz, I was going to say Anthony Trollope, Anthony Horowitz, Alex Ryder series. Um, but then I hadn't read for many a year and what got me into reading this time round was Jane Eyre back in September last year and that, that's what started all of this booktube, reading Victorian literature, studying literature uh, so thank you, Charlotte Bronte, for that. Question 13. How did you discover Booktube? I kind of touched on this when I said about why I started my own channel. Um, and that was after reading Jane Eyre. I was looking for recommendations on what other Victorian literature I could read and what other people would suggest. Um, and that's where I came across a number of channels. As already mentioned, Katie's and Jennifer's channels were the first two that I followed. And thanks to them, I bought... My a number of books in my first book haul that I did. Um, Woman in White was one of the first books I bought, thank you Jennifer. Um, so yeah, it was all down to Jane Eyre um, and looking for recommendations. That's how I discovered Booktube and I've kind of been hooked ever since. Question 14, what challenges do you think you'll face on your channel? Um, I don't know to be honest. For me, I think I said at the beginning, I'm not necessarily fussed at the moment about numbers. Uh, I have a job, a full-time job, which pays my mortgage. I don't need to make money off of this, so I'm happy just doing it and interacting with the people that want to interact. Um, but I do think a challenge will be to try and reach a bigger audience because I do want to meet some more like-minded people, but I feel like some of the established people have so many subscribers and followers and so forth that they're probably not going to want to waste too much time on someone like me, which is fair enough. Um, but I would love to kind of interact more with some of these people who want to discuss books and who are into books and maybe go on like a book meet or something like that or just like, where you all meet up and go book shopping and, you know, have a couple of drinks or so. That would be my aim. You know, I don't want to make money. I don't want to be famous, but it would be nice to meet some like minded people who share a passion for books, maybe Victorian literature, historical fiction or just books in general. I'm open to reading 
anything really. Anything that anyone suggests that's good, I'll give it a go. Question 15, the final question, where else can we find you? Link up. Um, so in my profile is already my X. It's a new account I've just set up for this channel. And it's the same um, username at Dan Uni and Books. I'll put it down there. Uh, and also Instagram, same, Dan Uni and Books. Um, I've tried to make it as simple as possible. That's where I am. That's where I post in between videos, just about updates. Um, the X account is fairly new, so there's not that much on there. My Instagram is like also a personalish account. So there's some other bits of my life on there as well. If you want to follow that, please do. So that is the new to booktube tag uh, and they're my answers. I hope that's given you a little bit more information about me. Um, and now I'd like to give you a little tour of the bookshelves I do have, um, starting with the ones I have downstairs. Then I'll move up here to these bad boys. And then I've got my classics and stuff down here. Um, so yeah, enjoy. So down here is just a random selection of books. There's a few dealing with witchcraft, me being a pagan and all. And also in my 20s, I was obsessed with forensic pathology. Uh, so on the left, there's quite a few sort of autobiographies, um, if you like, of print, uh, forensic pathology. Um, one I would recommend actually is Working Stiff here uh, by Judy Melanick. It's quite hard hitting at sometimes. Um, she deals with uh, the aftermath of 9-11, but there's also some light height moments and it's uh, a really good read. I really enjoyed that. And then down here is just a selection mostly of series that I've read, um, apart from a few that I haven't read and that I bought because I saw the films and wanted to read the books and I haven't got round to it. Um, so the Dexter series, I really love the books. Um, unfortunately, I think near the end, towards the last two books, Jeff Lindsay tried to make Dexter a bit more like the TV Dexter um, and I preferred the book Dexter, but I still enjoy all of them. Um, to the right there, we've got the Lauren Kate Fallen series. Um, I think I've mentioned before, I kind of like that sort of teen fantasy fiction. Um, it's just easy reading and I quite enjoy the storylines. That's a really good um, series. They did the first book, Fallen, as a film, but it didn't do so well, so they didn't carry on with that. Um, the, also the I Am Number 4 series, I've got all of them um, in the main series anyway. I love them. Uh, once again, they did the film of I Am Number 4, but didn't do so well, so they didn't carry on with that. Um, also the Anthony Horowitz, Alex Ryder series. I've got quite a few of those. Um, I once again, really enjoyed those. They're just easy reading, quite enjoyed the storylines. My husband bought me the Game of Thrones set for my 30th, oh, eight, nine years ago now, and I just haven't read them yet. I probably should get around to reading those, but you know, they're so big and thick. And um, I've got the Maze Runner series, which I haven't read either, and also the um, Divergent series, which I haven't read either. Um, and also, I bought these from the Anne Frank house um, in Amsterdam, and I still haven't got around to reading these. I've never read Anne Frank's diary, really, weirdly enough. Didn't do it at school, um, but I want to get around to those at some point as well. So now I'm going to show you my main selection of books that I've got in my office. I call it an office, it's a box room. Um, but where I do all my studying and keep all my books. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. I need to get a new bookcase. Um, I just need to find room for this new bookcase. Um, but I've got quite a few books on sort of like Iceland and the Vikings and also paganism witchcraft because I don't know if you've ever spotted that before, but a bit of a pagan myself. Uh, so here is the books in my office. So the first shelf there is all my old law textbooks from when I did my degree, which I graduated a couple of years ago. Um, the books, most of the books came with the course, so I thought it'd be nice and memento to keep them. Some of the others, uh, especially towards the right hand side, I just bought as additional books. Next down, we've got a few more witchcraft books. Um, and then to the left, there's some history books there as well. And then there's more sort of history towards the right. I do like sort of the medieval era um, and yeah the Plantagenets I kind of like that era as well as, as I say the Viking era which down below you'll see a whole load more on the Vikings and also Iceland. I'm obsessed with Iceland. I want to go and live in Iceland at some point maybe retirement maybe sooner who knows um, but yeah then further down there's obviously a bit more on Iceland uh, the Norse gods 
and some various other books. And that's just where all my folders are for studying. Um, a little bit of Iceland memorabilia there, obsessed. Uh, a bit of an altar there going on. Um, between uh, some paganism stuff there, but also some Norse paganism stuff. Anyway, the main part of my collection that's grown substantially in the last six months is the classics, the Victorian literature um, and books like that. So I've got all the Brontes at the top there. Obviously, I still need to get The Professor, I think, is the only book that I'm missing from the Brontes. Um, we've got Gaskell, we've got also some Collins, and we've got some various other bits, Sheridan Le Fanu there. Moving down, we've got George Eliot, we have got uh, most of the Barsetshire Chronicles by Trollope, I just need the last one there. And then quite a few Dickens, I really need to get on with Dickens. And at the end, some D.H. Lawrence there. And then moving down is just sort of the historical fiction and other fiction that I've bought that I need to make my way through. We've got the Laura Purcell books there. Um, and we've also got the Claire Evans books, one that I need to read, Katie Lumsden there. And also I've got the couple of books I bought from the Bronte Parsonage Museum that I should get through, but one of them is a bit thick. So that is my book collection. So that was my bookshelf tour. As you can see, it's a bit mishmashed all over the place, books here, there and everywhere. I need another bookshelf. I need to get more organized, but hey, it is what it is. So I hope after the tag and also seeing the books that I have, you've learned a bit more about me. I'd love to interact with more people who are like me, who enjoy reading, who want to discuss these sort of books in a bit more detail. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, thanks for watching. And yeah, my next video will probably be on Cuddy, which I'm hoping will be in the next day or two. When I finish it, I'm going to spend, today's my day off, so I'm going to spend today trying to finish that. Um, until next time, thanks. Bye.